Hello again. Uh, just cooking a couple of eggs. I've got a couple of um, items coming today for our, um, for our upcoming trip to Scotland. I've been wanting a travel tripod, a new one, for quite some time. The one I've got, I have had for... One sec, let me check these eggs. Listen, I might be able to build vans and I might be able to do photography, okay, but I cannot do eggs. <laughs> anyway, no matter what I do, I can never get them right. Never ever. Okay, right, let's uh, let's get this video going. So basically what's happening is we've got two tripods come in today and the reason we've got two is because i ordered one which is a, a vanguard i ordered vanguard because i my main tripod is vanguard and um, i also have their backpack which i love it's amazing and um, so i thought travel tripod let's go for a vanguard one um size wise the one I've ordered today is perfect because I've seen it in um, in a shop and I had a quick look at it and I thought that's perfect. Uh, so I've ordered this online. I since checked reviews after I'd ordered this, um, which you should do this before, I know, I know. But I looked at it after and a lot of comments were saying that this tripod isn't very sturdy. Now, that is one of the main features that I need in a tripod. Some of the conditions that um, I'm in when I'm shooting are not great. Um, but I also need small, I need compact, I need lightweight. And these are the basically the three things that, that I need in a tripod. I tried to cancel this order because of these reviews saying it's not very sturdy. Um, but I couldn't cancel it. Um, it said it was too late, so it's gonna arrive and I've got to refuse it or send it back or whatnot. So anyway, I thought, well, let's order another tripod. Um, so I've ordered a small rig. Um, I've ordered, I've had stuff from small rig before, but I've never looked into their tripods. Um, I've seen a good few reviews on these tripods about how sturdy they are for um, being a travel tripod, which is quite hard to get. Um, so yeah, supposedly they're quite sturdy. So I've ordered a small rig tripod as well. These two tripods are gonna be coming today, so I'm gonna accept them both, I'm gonna look at them both, I'm gonna decide which one I want, and then I'm gonna send back the one that I don't want. So yeah, it's uh, probably kind of worked out for me, hopefully, as long as they're not both rubbish. So, uh, quickly as well, so this is my uh, main tripod, my Vanguard, Alta Pro 2 Plus 263 AB100. Now this is a beast. Look at the size of it. And then look at this one, this travel tripod at the side. Massive, isn't it? Um, so this one I've had absolute years. This is a Amazon, cheap Amazon one. It says ESDDI or something on there. Um, this is the sort of style that I'm after this small compact so yeah we'll uh, we'll see what happens when these two tripods arrive we'll get them get them open get them side by side see if any of them are any good uh, see if we keep one but i'm hoping i get a good tripod because um i'm really needing this for our scotland trip that's coming soon so let's get some stuff done and uh, we'll come back and see what's happening when these tripods arrive
been a good play around with these two um, tripods and um, I have decided which tripod that personally I think is the best for myself. Basically out of both the tripods, one of them feels a lot sturdier than the other. Um, the Vanguard, although I really like the Vanguard and I wanted to like it because I wanted another Vanguard, it just didn't feel right, it didn't feel sturdy. I basically used my um, I basically used my uh, Canon EOS R with the 70 to 300. Uh, that's my biggest lens, so I wanted to put a bit of weight on there. But basically, when I grabbed my camera and just wiggled my camera, there's a lot of movement in the legs. And basically, that's something I don't want. I want it to be as rigid as possible. Both these tripods are carbon fibre, so they're really light. So um, they are going to get some movement because there's not a lot of weight on there. Uh, but if we can restrict the movement in the actual tripod itself, then I'm going to be a lot happier with that. So the Vanguard had a lot of movement in it. Um, as soon as I did the same thing with the uh, small rig, the difference, there was a total difference. There was hardly any movement in the tripod and straight away that sold it for me. So the Vanguard, um, basically, I prefer the ball head on the Vanguard, except for one tiny issue with the ball head. Um, the actual uh, pan movement, they adjust the screw of the pan. If you're doing a portrait then you move your camera down to do a portrait, the adjuster for panning is really close to where you move it down. So your camera's kind of in the way, you can still do it, but it's just really fiddly. Um, I don't know why they've done that. It's kind of offset and not sat in the middle. Um, so I don't like that. But the ball head itself, I, I prefer because it's got the tensioner on. It feels nicer. Um, so I prefer the ball head to um, the small rig. Um, but overall sturdiness, small rig beats it. Um, the size of it, so when they're stood side by side, folded up to carry there is nothing in it the small rig's a little bit smaller when they're at um, full height without using the center pole the uh, vanguard is taller by probably about 10 centimeters um, which I preferred um, because I don't like using the center pole um, if I can avoid it so the Vanguard's taller than the small rig in normal position at full extent. Now, when you do use the uh, center pole to bring it up, the small rig is taller than the Vanguard. And the reason for that is that the small rig has two extensions in the center pole. Um, so this actually brings it a hell of a lot higher than the Vanguard. So in exceptional circumstances, that will really come in hand there to get higher. Um, I still think the small rig was sturdier, probably more sturdier with the center pole up than the Vanguard is without the center pole up. So in my opinion, the small rig is mine and the Vanguard is going back to Amazon. I'm looking forward to using it. It's dead small. It's smaller than my um, my really old budget Amazon tripod from years ago. It's smaller than that, so I'm really looking forward to getting this on the side of the bag. Um, it feels so nice, like this, folded up. It feels mint. Um, there is a difference with the adjusters. You have the twisty ones on the Vanguard, and these ones on this but basically I put this away as quick as I put the Vanguard away with these on I do like these still um, the twisty ones sometimes when you've got your tripod up um, you might not have tightened one up properly but whereas you know with these you know if they're tight if they shut they're tight 
Um, but whereas the twisty ones, I put my tripod down before and then a leg falls or moves because it's not tightened. And then that's an extra few more seconds that you're wasting where you could have got that shot. So I don't always prefer the twisty, twisty feet. This is the small rig AP20 carbon fiber. Right, thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you make a decision. Obviously, all decisions are personal and some things uh, we prefer over other things. So we're all different. So, But this is my opinion and I am so looking forward to getting to use this. So thank you very much for watching.